As a staff member of American Sentinel University, you may be required to sign digitally sign Adobe PDF forms. The best way to do that is to make sure you have an updated Adobe Reader. To do that, just simply search for Update Adobe Reader or simply go to get.adobe.com slash reader with another slash. Um, the most current version of Adobe Reader is going to be Adobe Reader DC. And to find out what type of reader you have, simply go to Help and then about Adobe Reader. Um, and right here up at the top, it will tell you which version of Adobe you have. So um, once you get an Adobe Reader form, fill out any areas that you need to fill and so forth. Um, if you're getting to an area where you sign, simply select what you would like and then um, you will select to sign. So you can sign from your existing digital ID from a file, a roaming digital ID, a device connected to this computer, or a new digital ID. If you haven't set up a digital ID before, um, this will, is what will pop up, and you'll just want to select new digital ID. Um, I'm just going to select the first option, and then fill out my information from there. And then it will ask you um, what you want to use. The, uh, digital ID 4 and it's fine just to leave it as the default digital signatures and data encryption. Next you'll be asked to submit a password and now you can see that WDMP has digitally signed. You'll need to put in your password and we'll click, click sign at the bottom. It's going to automatically pop up with a save as box and ask you to save the Great Appeal form um, or whatever digital form you're signing. So we'll just go ahead and save it and place it um, on our desktop because that's an easy place to find it. And then we'll input our date. And if we'd like to add any comments, if you add any additional information after uh, you sign it, remember to save your form again. And from here, you can uh, simply s send the file so and attach it to an email, um, either using Outlook or uh, a webmail if that's um, what you use.